Exilin here and somewhere underneath this is Sideswipe. So it's no secret that this guy was the punch bag of the Armada line. His character in the cartoon was about as threatening as a kitten, with an equal amount of peer dependence and misdirected affection. Whereas his action figure is famous for being about as attractive as Jabba the Hutt's hangover cures. Okay, so let's get the good stuff out of the way first. Love the colours. Dark blue, bright orange, always a winner. Also his mould and paint detailing is second to none in the Armada line. Much better than this div. But that's where it all ends. Those are the only two strawberry milkshakes and a fridge full of chocolate ones. So the problem here is mainly the scaling. In the cartoon he was a skinny robot with a big car mode. The translation of this into actual physics was about as successful as the famed cheese amplifier. Sort of like a novelty junkyard Christmas tree, there's just bits of car everywhere. Look at him from the back and it just gets worse. The fact that his hands make up the whole front end of his alt mode means they're way too big. Also his whole front windscreen section just sits either side of his legs, making him twice as wide as he should be. Though I guess they could be handy if you ever felt maternal. The combination of these two things alone rape his poseability. Fact is, it's just easier to show you what he can do rather than what he can't do. That being the modest crab and the Scooby Doo run. More dynamite design touches on this guy include the stupid peg between his feet and the flap that hangs down between his legs. So this is Nightbeat, Sideswipe's Minicon. He's a perfect example of French farming's influence on the motorcycle industry. And by that I mean less highway hog and more chicken chaser. On closer inspection he's a complete ass, with a headlight for a face. And when you plug him onto Sideswipe's back, you'll realise his full destructive potential. I quite like his weapon, though it does look a bit puny in his massive hands. You can actually take the bayonet off and have him hold it separately, though he just looks like a baguette chef. Personally, I don't think a vehicle mode should ever be the saving grace of a Transformer, but in Sideswipe's case, it really is his only hope. But this cool blue Nissan Skyline clone really is the last minute equaliser for this guy. I mean, I love it. It's nice and chunky, it's solid, great colour, and the detail on it is phenomenal, especially on the wheels. I'd go as far as saying it's one of my favourite car modes ever, not just in the Armada line. You can store his weapons on clips on the inside of the doors, but if you do, you'll lose them. It's not hard to design one of these to turn into a robot, a decent robot. We've seen it many times before, even before the Armada line. So I don't think the quality of this is why his robot mode sucks. More to do with the fact that they included this. So brilliant, Sideswipe's power-up mode is a car with a crappy turning circle and a moped hanging off the back. That's infinitely better than, say, a flying car. That isn't the real kick in the honorary ghoulies here. Remember that stupid flap hanging between his legs? Yeah, that's what Nightbeat sits on. And that stupid peg that gets in the way of both his ankles? Holds the whole back end together. So what I'm getting at is, the key components of this power-up mode ruin his robot mode. And for those partial to an extra kick in the gums, all you need to do is look underneath to find more often than not the weapons have fallen out. I don't hate Sideswipe far from it, I just find him frustrating, because he was ruined by a pointless gimmick. A gimmick that could have been easily redesigned into something decent and integrated properly. Despite the very open criticism of this guy, Hasbro have released several repaints, so he's fairly easy and cheap to check out if you want to. I can only recommend him based on his cool alt mode. Everything else is just bad underwear. He's definitely not the popular one at the biannual Sideswipe reunion.